when these reactions take place, there's a forward reaction, there's a backward reaction. There's a point where the reaction should be balanced, where the forward reaction will be equal to the backward reaction. So we see that the state of equilibrium has been reached. Now, what is equilibrium? When you go to the park and then you see a seesaw, the seesaw is in a state of equilibrium when it is balanced. The seesaw is in a state of equilibrium when it is balanced. So equilibrium simply means balance. There are two main types of equilibrium. We have static equilibrium and then dynamic equilibrium. Static, stationary, and that word comes to mind, that means the thing is at rest. Static is just like saying stationary object. When that comes to mind, it means the thing is at rest. So it is the equilibrium of a system at rest. Equilibrium of a system at rest. So when you go to the park and then you see this seesaw in this state, that means this seesaw is balanced. This pivot is giving it a force over here. These two are also pushing downwards. But it is still balanced because this force here, A, is equal to B. A will turn the seesaw clockwise. B will turn the seesaw anti-clockwise. But since they are balanced, the plan is balanced. Or since the two forces are equal, the plan is balanced. In reverse reactions, we are more concerned with dynamic equilibrium. It is the state in which the forward and backward reactions occur at the same rate. The forward and backward reactions are occurring at the same rate rate so the rate of forward reaction the rate of carbon calcium carbonate decomposing to form calcium oxide and then carbon dioxide is the same as the rate of carbon dioxide combining with calcium oxide to form calcium carbonate so calcium carbonate will break down to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide will also break, will also combine with calcium oxide to form calcium carbonate. At dynamic equilibrium, the rate of this reaction is the same as the rate of the backward reaction. That is what dynamic equilibrium is about. The rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the backward reaction. So here, this rock is in a state of static equilibrium. It is static because it is at rest. And then there are forces balancing this rock. Over here, calcium carbonate is forming or is breaking down to form calcium oxide and then carbon dioxide. The reverse also happens. They are happening at the same rate, so we see dynamic equilibrium is reached.